today we are looking at Solus Linux 4.5 so already made the budget desktop environment so here is the gnome desktop so let's quickly boot it in a live boot and i forgot to mention that i am running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p So here is the desktop layout of a solar Linux GNOME. So let's quickly open the system monitor. So here is our system monitor. So these are all the process running right now. And here are the resources. Right now it's almost a 1.4 G, uh, 4 GB of RAM and cache is like a 2.9 gb and here is the cpu let's run the cpu until the 60 seconds or a minute to get the exact graph of the cpu so let's check the version uh, which is uh, 45.0.2 so here is the file system so here is the resources here are all the processes so these are all the processes running right now So let's uh, keep the resources. I'm going to put the system resources throughout the video like in the right side corner so you can see all the changes uh, uh, which takes place throughout the video. So let's open the uh, Firefox web browser. So it is taking a bit of time here so here we have the firefox web browser let's type in about support so here is some of the information of uh, firefox web browser and some of the information from the distro you can just pause the video and get the information like a linux kernel a theme all those things so you can just pause the video or you can just change the playback speed in the youtube settings which should be default 1.0 and change it to 0.25 and you should be seeing everything in a slow mo so here is some of the information about the distro and about the firefox So let's uh, put it right here. So here is the complete information. So let me go to their official website. Let's uh, type in Solus Linux. Change it to English. Home. So here is some of the information. If you want, you can go through all those things. So let's go to the blog. So here is the information of the 4.5. So the version of the uh, Solus right now we are using is 4.5, which already made a video of uh, the budget desktop right now, the GNOME one. And the code name is Resilience. Here is the code name. So let's uh, click on read more. So here are some of the general changes, which is like a Firefox web browser a library office and a thunderbird when we go to the uh, gnome section or the gnome information you get the latest gnome which is 4.45.2 and these are all the changes and bug fixes cleanup of quality of life improvements so these are all the information uh, changed in the gnome desktop environment so if you if you want you can go through uh, their website and read everything so i'm going to show you how to download so when you are in the url which is getsold.us so this is the url you need to uh, go to their website or you can just type in like a solus linux in the search search engine or a search term as a search term so it will take directly here and uh, click on download if you want for the news you need to go to the blog section if you want for the download you need to go for the download section so here are four desktop environments available budgie gnome plasma and xfc beta or beta 
so here is the media size which is around 2.9 gb let's click on download so here is the download solus 4.5 gnome iso so i'm using a vpn and it's on a virtual machine so it's a bit slow here uh, if you have a good internet connection it will be very quick so let's close the uh, internet browser so we got uh, all the information almost uh, some of the information of the solus so let me open the uh, terminal and let's wait for a few seconds so let me resize it again it accidentally closed so let's uh, check the kernel version version 3.48.0 for gnome 44 so let's uh, go to the unnamed colors gnome light let me type in uh, the command which is uh, inxi dash s wait so this is the command which will grab complete distro information like this inxi dash s wait so you get complete information here let's scroll it up so host solus kernel 6.6.9-269 i'm not going to go through all this information uh, because it's going to take a lot of time here so instead of reading everything you just uh, pause the video or you can slow down the video to get all the information like you get all the information like a graphics monitor audio network bluetooth uh, memory machine desktop system all those information is available right in front of you you just need to pause the video or, or read everything so let's type in neofetch hit enter so a neofetch command not found you can install it on your own uh, later so let's type in another command which is cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue hit enter it says it's a solus operating system let's type in another command which is inxi inxi dash small b inxi dash uh, capital g now inxi dash uh, capital f So you got all the information these are all the same command uh, same as the above which i showed which is inxi dash s wait so this is in a short form that is in a complete uh, a single command so you get the, all the same information here there is nothing different here so let me type in hstop hstop command not found so let's uh, exit this thing so let's go to activities let's uh, go to the installer I am not going to install uh, on the hard disk or a virtual disk because I need to make another video so that's the reason. I got some random language because I am using a, a VPN. Maybe it's like a Indonesian I guess. So let's go to the American English. So let's see Calamaras installer 3.2.62 for Solus 4.5 resilience. So first you need to choose the language click on next choose your location or you can choose the drop down menu or you can choose the pointer choose your location the system language will be set to american english united states you can change up to your uh, change uh, what you want to change here so you have like a date locales will be set to american english if you want to customize you can customize or you can just uh, keep it like that click on next choose your keyboard model i'm choosing uh, mine as a dell uh, you can choose your keyboard uh, language too here you can choose anything i am choosing the united states english you can type here to test your keyboard click on next virtual disk 60 gb erase disk if you want to erase a uh, disk uh, and install the Solus Linux on that hard disk, you need to first choose your uh, exact hard disk. If you have a multiple hard disk here, you need to choose the proper one. 
and if you want to erase and uh, delete everything in that hard disk and if you want to install that uh, solus linux on that hard disk you need to choose uh, erase disk or else you can choose the manual partitioning you have like a dual boot options uh, of this so you get the dual options of a dual uh, operating system uh, the current one and the if you try to install the solus it will be like a dual operating systems so if you want to go with the dual operating system you need to go with the manual partitioning if you want to uh, do the single boot you can go with the erase disk and uh, choose the single boot here are some of the options ext4 btrfs ftfs all those things so if you want to encrypt your system you can encrypt your system by providing the password which should be same in the both the boxes and you need to choose the bootloader location here choose the bootloader location here click on next login automatically without asking for the password let's uh, create a username here 9 to file linux you can provide anything you want there is no need to provide the exact uh, username and password all those things password so if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark here if not you should be seeing like a cross mark or into mark here so we got everything click on next so even in uh, yesterday's video it just uh, freezed uh, on this thing uh, in this step uh, there was no summary or installation step i don't know the same case in the is going in the gnome desktop environment too so let's close the installer however i don't want to install the uh, on the virtual disk or a hard disk so i'm just going to skip that part if you trying to install it do let me know in the comment section again this is the latest release so it's a better option to wait for a few days or just check others videos if everything is go going good check like a five to six channels who made the video on the solus 4.5 don't just watch my video and try to install uh, solus linux on your hard disk or a main pc or a work pc because it's going to be uh, sometimes like uh, if you have any bugs in the iso file it should uh, ruin your pc so don't, uh, so i don't want you to ruin your pc so that's the reason it's a better option to wait for a few days or uh, it's a better option to check like a five to six channels who made a uh, videos on that so then if you're satisfied with the uh, all those videos then go with the installer don't just watch my video and try to install so it's a good option check look for like a five to six channels of uh, people who made a videos on that so let's go back to the desktop features like a power options dark style night light power mode all those things like a screenshot so these are all the basic things which you get in a gnome fortify desktop environment so here is the date and calendar so let's go back to the activities so let's open so here are the applications you get uh, pre-installed in the solus linux which are all the things so almost everything so let's uh, let me test this thing uh, which i usually do in every linux uh, video or any in every linux uh, distro tutorial so i'll randomly open like a uh, 5 10 to 15 apps to see whether the distro will handle uh, the lag or a freeze in the using the linux distro and here is the black screen and uh, something is going crazy here just for opening two applications so as you can see that's the reason i always say it's always a good option to wait for a few days even if it's a stable iso file release so there should be some bugs uh, sometimes not about uh, i'm not talking about the solus linux i'm talking about all the linux distro sometimes it has bugs accidentally but uh, so that's the reason you need to wait for a few days or at least to watch someone uh, who is trying to make a video on the youtube like watch like a five to six videos and then go with the installation so as you can see i can't do anything here so the ram is also a desktop environment i don't know properly the ram is almost good and we have completely a black black screen so let's try to close the virtual machine and let's try to launch it again i hope it closes so i think i i think i should uh, end this video here. so we have uh let's restart it again now so it took a few seconds here i'm using a good ram here almost i have 20 gb of ram in my pc and i'm using 8 gb of ram for my uh, virtual machine 
let's try to launch the linux distro so let's wait for a few more seconds here Oh, still nothing i think i should end the video here there it is taking a bit of time here to load everything so let's try again as soon as i say something it's <laughs> it's trying to start so let's wait for a few more seconds and see whether the distro will work or not so just uh, I, i'm trying to open some of the applications like a 10 to 12 apps if I open now, it will be a waste of time because uh, it should need some time uh, before uh, the Linux distro should at least run like uh, 15 minutes. Then we need to open the applications. So we get the exact uh, uh, idea of whether to use that Linux distro or not. Try to open like uh, 10 to 12 apps and uh, try to switch the applications uh, in a fast way. So you get the exact uh, information whether to use that Linux distro or not. I will end this video here because it's uh, pointless right now because I need to wait again for 20 minutes uh, and then we need to open the applications. So that's the reason I'm going to end this video here. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.